Welcome back everyone to my IDC3 to run. Today I have the third match from the top 8 group stage where I'm up against Xboom at the top of his screen who is playing Lyrewater Dark Marino Deckout. And I'm on the bottom of the screen playing my Lyrewater Dark Hydro Hurricane with Kikazald. Xboom is going to win the die roll here, he's gonna charge Thrushcrawler. Then he's gonna charge a Miraculous Snare to unlock Light Mana. Xboom uh, has to think if he wants to keep uh, Miraculous Snare in hand because he has to answer my Mystery Ass. Now he's gonna play Slash Charger on turn 3, looking through my deck. Uh, next turn, uh, if he has a uh, Mystery Ass or a uh, Marino, or even an Ice Vapor, he can already summon them. Uh, just as a recap, I lost against Dark Signer in the second match, and I won against Solomon in the first match, so this third match is the deciding match of whether or not we continue on to top 4. Here I'm gonna summon Giga Slug on turn 3. Uh, he's gonna play Giga Balls and sniping the Palo Lysis, which I'm not, I'm not too sad about. Uh, the reason I play Giga Slug is in case I top the Giga Salt, so I can start to discard him. And even he's so afraid of Giga Salt that he even plays a Hydro Hurricane to bounce it. So here I'm gonna play Ice Vapor instead. He is going to lost soul me, but now he's gonna be forced to discard the card from his mana zone. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to this clamp. But now that he summoned Ice Vapor, I'm probably gonna charge it instead. Now I'm gonna use uh, Miraculous Plague on both the Mystery Ass and the Ice Vapor. And I'm gonna force him to choose between uh, Juliana and Locomotive. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to discard a card from my mana zone as well. Now he's gonna summon Mistrias again. And here I will uh, use Hydro Hurricane just to bounce Mistrias to, to prevent him from drawing cards at least for a turn. I will summon Giga Balza to discard the Faliga but he's gonna replace the card with a Mystery Astro. Now he's gonna use Miraculous Snare or uh, Ice Vapor and discard a card from his mana zone. Gonna play Energy Stream here, uh, drawing Ice Vapor and another one. And unless I find a Terror Pit or a Snare to answer this mystery ass, it's just gonna snowball and generate advantage. Which is why I'm most likely going to play uh, Energy Stream. And I'm not sure why I didn't just summon Giga Balza here. I had 4 mana left. Yes, he will draw a card, but he will also discard a card, so... Uh, but at least now I can snare the Mystery Ass, summon Giga Balza, discard the last card, and he won't be able to draw another one. And here I'm gonna play the Ice Vapor. Holding on to Giga Zalt for next turn. Now it's just gonna play Julianas. Uh, I think I should evolve Giga Balza at this point. But for some reason I changed my mind and summon Giga Slug. 
Now I'm going to get punished for that uh, with the holy o, so I'm not going to have a bait for Giga Salt anymore. And uh, yeah, I have neither Mystery Ass nor Giga Salt on the field to to really put pressure on him, so I am most likely going to deck out this game. I'm just going to build a wall of Paleolysis, I suppose. It's funny how I drew three of them back to back. He's going to play Bilex here to discard uh, Gigazalt in my hand. So the plan of going in with Gigazalt uh, is now thwarted by uh, Ghost Touch. He's just gonna play Corpse Charger to get past Trash Crawler, which will get a Corpse Charger to to essentially allow him to keep. Uh, strangely enough, he picks up a Terror Pit, which I discard with Giga Balsa. Now he's just gonna slash me, probably grabbing one of my attackers, the Petrova, and. Without that Petrova, I don't really have much of a chance, so at this point I could even scoop, to be honest. I don't have Holio in this version, so... Uh, for some reason I moved a uh, card from the mana and yeah from the hand to the grave even though I didn't cast any spell but yeah I just concede because there's like no way for me to win and now we go into game 2 where I start uh, I'm definitely holding on to the miraculous nerf for uh, potential mystery as and I'm definitely summoning that Gigabalza on turn 4 uh, maybe he was thinking of playing Ghost Touch I'm gonna discard the Marino Master with Gigabalza which is a pretty good discard to be honest and he will do the same discarding mystery as Unfortunately, I draw a multi sieve, so I won't be able to summon the mystery as this turn. He's just gonna summon Marino Master, drawing Juliana and Ghost Touch. And now I'm gonna summon uh, my own mystery as. gonna play a photo side here and uh, yeah I am most likely gonna use snare on the photo side if he has an answer for this mystery yes I can uh, I can summon another one now I'm gonna Top deck Gigazald off the top, evolve Giga Balsa and force him to randomly discard Ghost Touch, which is a pretty good discard, which could have gotten rid of uh, the Ice Vapor or the Mystery Ass from hand, so I'm happy about that. Gonna use this time uh, to also summon the, to set up the second Mystery Ass. If he doesn't have an answer for this Mystery Ass, I'm just gonna snowball. He does have an answer in the form of Hydro Hurricane. So he's most likely gonna bounce the Mystery Ass and probably the Bilix to force me to... to take back a spell. Okay, so he instead opts for Spiral Gate. 
just gonna charge it again and resummon the Mistrias. And I'm gonna keep forcing him to have uh, an answer for it when he doesn't, so... Now I'm gonna set up the Ice Vapor as well. So whether he casts a spell or summon as a creature... And he does have a Miraculous Tenor for the Mystery As, but this is gonna force him to discard a card from his mana zone. I will summon the third Mystery As and follow it up with a Giga Slug. He's gonna play a locomotive or sniping my Miraculous Snare. Now I'm gonna play a Palo Ulysses, follow it up with a Giga Slab and a Laura Giga. And uh, I can now even uh, attack the photo side and discard it from uh, the shield, which I snared previously. Uh, the locomotive, the locomotive is summons. Fortunately for me, it doesn't hit a Petrova, so now I can use this time to boost my own guardians. Yeah, I, I think that's correct to boost the Guardians first. Attack, a shield, discard. And I'm just gonna keep uh, attacking a shield one by one and discarding it every turn while having a wall. But uh, now I have a Hydro Hurricane, so... I can already bounce 5 cards from his mana zone. So I'm just gonna bounce all the cards on his field except for the Juliana and probably some of his more expensive cards from the mana zone. Now I'm just gonna go in for shields. And uh, he used Ghost Touch, and, uh, but he didn't, we didn't trigger the Ice Vapor effect, maybe we both forgot. But it's over anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now we're on to the final game, where Expo is gonna go first. Charging Ice Vapor, which is interesting, as it could be pretty useful against me. I'm charging Palo Ulysses because power uh, doesn't really matter in this matchup too much. Only power uh, which I can use to attack him with, rather than power uh, used to defend. He will play Ghost Touch, which is gonna snipe one of my energy streams. Thankfully I draw Hydro Hurricane to act as a mana source for the second stream. And now uh, this turn I can play Ghost, uh, not Ghost Touch, Cranium Clamp and force him to discard two of his cards. And he's gonna discard Miraculous Snare, potential out to my own Mysterious and one of his other Mysterious. And now I'm even gonna play Miraculous Snare on the second mystery as he's summoned. And just like that I got rid of two mystery as. Gonna play uh, Energy Stream here to, to search for uh, mystery as a bit quicker. And uh, this turn I'm thinking of, yeah, probably can play Mystery as now, to be honest. Mm, 
Uh, he's drawn two B legs and some other creature. Giga Balsa. So whatever he plays, it's most likely a creature which will allow me to draw more cards with Mistrias. It's charging one of the billex, so let's see if we're gonna summon the other one, probably to get Slash Charger. He's gonna play Faliga here, so he's getting back Miraculous Snare. And he will also play Bilex to get back Miraculous Plague. I will most definitely play Gigabalza here to try to snipe either the Plague or the Snare. I'm thinking here if I wanna charge Terror Pit, but I think I definitely will. And I snipe the Miraculous Snare, which is pretty good. Uh, because Miraculous Plague is not a... It's only a temporary removal for Mistrias. Now he's gonna have to charge uh, Giga Balza so he can use Miraculous Plague. But he doesn't use Miraculous Plague, so instead he's gonna use Marino Master. And now I have... Uh, I'm gonna have 9 mana so I can summon Giga Balza, then uh, evolve it onto Giga Zalt and practically discard his whole hand. Uh, Gigabals is gonna discard Locomotivar and uh, Giga Zald and the other Gigabals are gonna discard the uh, Terror Pit and Miraculous Plague. He is gonna play uh, uh, Juliana here, which is gonna get me to draw even more cards. I'm probably just gonna play the second Mystery As here or or maybe I could play uh, Miraculous Plague to get rid of four cards at the same time. Uh, I'm thinking here of playing uh, Miraculous Snare on the Faliga and then Miraculous Plague on... Okay, so I'm gonna play Snare on the Marino Master and Plague on Bilex Faliga. And probably uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of his water mana. And then I'm gonna discard the, the cards in hand which he kept with Balza and Zald. Which were a Bilex and a Skydiver. Now I'm gonna play uh, second Mistrias, followed by Petrova to boost Guardians, and then follow it up with uh, Laura Giga. Now I'm gonna be able to attack one of the shields and discard the card with Giga Balza, which was the Mistrias I snared uh, early in the game. Now I'm gonna be able to play two more light creatures and bounce pretty much most of his mana with Hydro Hurricane. So that's gonna be six cards in his mana zone that are gonna go back to his hand. So now I'm just gonna go for the remaining shields. Uh, he is gonna get a holy up, but yeah, that's just gonna delay the inevitable. He is gonna attempt to attack uh, Giga Balza with you. Well. He will attack it because everything is stopped. 
from the Holio. I will play Hydro Hurricane on Pilex and the last card in his mana zone. And then I'm gonna just go for the remaining shields. And uh, yeah, Snorkla is boosted by Petrova as well, so he doesn't die. And uh, yeah, finish him off with Petrova and I'm gonna take game 3, which means I win this match, which means I go on to the semi-final. But yeah, that was the third match in the top 8 group stage. Uh, until next time, see ya!